Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I have a ROM for you for the Galaxy Nexus. This is the BAM F ROM. Uh, this ROM, there's not a ton to go over. This is basically a stock ROM uh, with some performance tweaks and settings and just a few little customizations. Uh, what you're going to get out of this is a stable ROM with decent battery life. Now I say decent battery life for me, my personal use. I get about five or six hours out of the battery on any ROM that I run just simply because I'm constantly uh, streaming podcasts, streaming YouTube, streaming things, and that tends to draw down my battery. Also, 4G usage tends to draw down my battery. Uh, but other than that, for me, five or six hours on a ROM is not so bad. Like today, I streamed YouTube constantly for about five hours. That means my screen was on because the YouTube app. Uh, you cannot turn off the screen, and I was still down to 25% before I had to plug in my battery. So anyhow, let's go ahead and jump into some of the settings here, some, some of the customizations. We'll run over them. You can get to it either from the BAMF settings. Uh, so if I click there, that'll get me there, or I can pull down uh, my notification, hit settings, and then go to settings. You saw those were the toggles there, and then BAMF settings. That'll get you there. You've got three pages here. The first page is your uh, kernel settings here. Uh, you can set your maximum CPU speed all the way up to 1350 megahertz. It comes stock with that, uh, which is pretty fast, and that really will drain down your battery, so I keep it at 1200. And then also you can change your kernel governor. I keep it at conservative because like I said, I'm a heavy user. So uh, the best way for me to save batteries by checking a uh, conservative, I believe it comes at on uh, with on demand, but then you also have power save. Uh, if, you, if you're not on your phone all day and your phone is in sleep mode a lot, this will help you the power save feature because it puts your phone to a very low voltage while it's at sleep. Um, interactive and performance are there as well. So we'll set it to conservative, and then I apply on boot. So every time I boot up my phone, it does this automatically. So now we can go into the system. Uh, you have ad block. You can remount your system there. Uh, auto brightness settings, you can change those there. And you can manage your system apps directly from BAMF settings. Uh, we're going to go back. And then if we go to visual, uh, here's where you have some of your customizations here. You can conf configure your lock screen. So you can change the style of your lock screen. And uh, let's see here. You can set your toggles here. I have it either on camera mode or sound mode for your left target. And then you can add shortcuts as well. Uh, so you can add up to eight custom targets. So if I choose one, it'll allow me to, to customize it there. And you'll see what you get right there in your preview window. So we'll go back. Uh, boot animation options, you can either turn the boot sound on or turn the sound off. You can also turn the boot animation off as well. Uh, and then you have your launcher screens and your dock divider. If I turn that off, the little line across goes away. And then I can scroll through to the next page. I have status bar. Uh, I have my status bar settings here. So I can turn the clock on or off. And I can use my custom carrier label, which I have as Droid Monitor X. And you can change your quick settings here as well. So what toggles show up whenever you pull down and go to settings. You can change those here. And uh, you can change the visibility and the animations of those as well. And then we'll scroll over to the next page. And you have uh, the search key that you can add to your navigation. You can also change the navigation bar color on the fly, which is cool. And you can change the navigation bar color and select a color, click OK, and whenever you click on a button down here on the navigation, uh, it will glow in the color that you chose. So that's pretty much all the customization in this ROM. Um, let's see here. If you go to wallpapers, it uh, looks like you're just going to have your standard wallpapers, no special BAMF wallpapers or anything like that. Um, and then, of course, in your pull-down screen, you do have your customized carrier logo. You have your toggles here that we set earlier. And then if you go here, uh, there's your quick settings where you can change those that way as well. 
but it's like I said before, this is not a ton of customization here in BAMF. Uh, this is mostly for performance and if you like to have a stable ROM uh, that you can always rely on and have pretty decent battery life. Uh, another thing here is if you do press the power button, it's going to give you the reboot options like on any other ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, to install this ROM, all you would need to do is reboot into recovery. And you can grab this ROM from the link in the description. Do make sure that you have both the ROM and the G apps for this. Uh, but all you'll have to do is wipe data, wipe cache, wipe Dalvik, and then install both the BAMF ROM and also uh, the G apps, the BAMF G apps. So as soon as it boots up, I'll show you guys how to install this. Uh, so let's try to get a little closer view here. See if we can, there we go. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to wipe data factory reset, select that, and then you go down to yes, delete all user data. I'm gonna go back for now because I already have it installed. And then you're gonna go to wipe cache partition. Go down there to where it says yes, wipe cache. I'm just going to uh, go back. Then you go to advanced. Select that and select wipe Dalvik. Once you have wiped Dalvik, you'll go back to install zip from SD card. If you've downloaded this directly to your device, uh, you go to choose zip from SD card and then you'll go to download. Should be there. Uh, you're looking for the BAMF ROM. Let's see, what would it be under here? Down at the bottom, uh, BAMF Paradigm. Toro 1.1 is the latest version. So you would select that, and then go to Yes Install BAMF Paradigm Toro uh, 1.1. That's gonna take several minutes. As soon as that finishes, you'll go back, choose it from SD card, go to your download, and then you'll wanna grab this uh, BAMF G apps, whatever the latest version is. I've got 310 2012, so it's like 10 days old, uh, but you would go ahead and flash that as well. When that's all said and done, uh, you will have that installed on your phone. You can reboot. And I'll show you guys real quickly the animation that it comes with. So while this boots up, guys, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for all the latest news, rhymes, mods, and hacks for your Android device. You can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E9 of 3. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. It means a whole lot to me, guys, and I owe you big for that. Also, hit the like button. It does help out uh, quite a bit. So here is the custom boot animation. Uh, you can tell it has that sound, which is changeable. If you don't like the sound, of course, you can change that. Uh, there is your BAMF Paradigm boot animation. Overall, a good ROM. Stable, probably one of the most stable out there. Uh, they didn't spend a whole lot of time on the customization and the excess features. A lot of you guys uh, prefer a ROM that's mostly stock, that's not bogged down. Uh, with you know, We remove all this bloat to make our phone faster, and then we add tons of bloat. Uh, in the form of customizations, a lot of it not necessary. Uh, so if that's the way you think about ROMs, then this ROM is for you. Personally, I like more customization, but that is BAMF Paradigm version 1.1 uh, for your Galaxy Nexus. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.